Okay, remember there are two ways you can hack up or customize a WordPress website. One is with the theme and the other is with plugins. Now themes, that's for the look and feel. You, when you mess with a theme, when you edit it or create a new theme, you are changing the look and feel and that's all you should be doing when you edit the code of a theme. When you go and create plugins or edit new plugins um, or add new plugins, you're changing the functionality. So the kinds of things your application can do. Um, it's a very different thing. Presentation and look and feel is one thing in web development. Functionality, you know, logging in users or um, displaying an Instagram feed, just different kinds of things you can imagine as functionality. That's the job of a plugin when it comes to the world of WordPress. Okay, so I'm going to go back here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to illustrate how this theme works kind of behind the scenes. So we're going to look at the files that make this theme come to life. Okay, so if I go over here to my WP content folder, that's where we're going to spend most of our time. And then I click on this themes folder. I'll find the corresponding name to the active theme. In this case, mine is 2016. So if I open that, Okay, you'll see a ton of files here that we're, we're looking at. You know, CSS, that's a folder, um, JavaScript, template parts. Now, I want you to focus on these files right here. These files that are sitting inside the 2016 folder, these are called template files. Most of these are called template files. Okay, and these are files that give our theme a certain look and feel and they are particular to certain pages okay so for example if I go over to the theme and I click on this this is kind of a default blog post that's been added to our theme um, just by default when we install it and when I click on it you'll notice now I'm on a different page if you look at the URL here it's got kind of the timestamp and the name of the blog post the title there okay so to access this template, to kind of change the look and feel of this single blog post, I would go over here, and you just kind of have to know this, and you kind of learn this over time. You'd want to edit the single.php file. So I'm going to double click that, and there we go. I've opened up the file that is responsible for presenting this kind of page right here, this blog post, okay, and any of the blog posts on our site. This file is what ed edits it. Okay, so this is called a template file. And just to show you that this is the file that kind of edits it, um, I can go over here, uh, let's see, to the top, and just add some HTML. You don't have to do this, I'm just kind of demonstrating. So if I save the file on a Mac, I can do Command S to save, and you'll want to save often. Or you can go over here and click File and then hit Save. Okay, that'll save the file. And now if I go back and refresh, you'll see I've added the words blog post at the very top there. It's kind of injected that to the top. So that's just to prove that this single.php in here is the file that's responsible for presenting the single blog posts, any of the blog posts that show up on our website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that for now and just make it look like it was before. One other thing I want to show you is that some of these files in here are called partials, template partials. Okay, so if you notice, there's this little template tag, as we call it. It's a line of PHP code that says get header. Okay, and down at the bottom, you'll see get sidebar and get footer as well. What those are doing is they're basically reaching back into this file system here and saying, okay, we need to inject the code from the header.php right up here. And then down here, we want to inject the code from the sidebar.php file right here. And just below that, we want to inject the code for the footer from this file in here. Okay, so if I were to look at the header.php file, just double click that and it pops up right here. Okay, I'm just going to lower this a little bit because we don't need it right now. This header file, where it says header.php, this is the file that's responsible for the header of our site, which in this case is kind of just this upper area right here. This is the header of our site and this shows up on pretty much all of the pages of our website. Okay, our footer area is down here. 
this kind of white space with this text in here. And then this is our sidebar right here. So these are being injected into the blog post page. And we know that because when I go back to single.php, I can see these little lines of PHP code that say, hey, go ahead and grab the content from inside those other files, header, footer, sidebar, and inject them in these corresponding locations. And that's what composes this entire full page, okay? It's kind of a page pieced together by multiple files, okay? And again, just to prove that, if I go over here to header.php, and I find the site title, okay, which is going to be somewhere around here. Let's see if I can find it. I'll just put it right here. And I'm just going to inject a little bit of HTML in here. You don't have to do this. And then I save the file. So Command S to save on a Mac. Or you can just go up here and hit, click File and then Save. And then I go back and refresh. There, I've just injected some random HTML. And this is now going to show up on any page that has our header section. Okay, so if I go over here to a different page on my site, like the archives page, it still shows up right there. Okay, if I go to um, a random page by just typing in some gibberish at the end of the URL here, so forward slash whatever, ASDF, and hit enter. Okay, this is our error page, and it still shows up at the top right here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and remove that now. But that's just to show you how these template files work. So hopefully now you have a sense of how these template files are kind of working together. Now, as you can see, there are multiple languages here. There's HTML, and then there is PHP. That's what's going on on these files. And you may feel overwhelmed if you've never looked at these languages before. Um, but you can actually get through this entire course uh, without having a lot of experience with those languages. However, at some point you do need to go back and learn these languages. So you can continue on to learn how custom themes are built from scratch. Um, we'll take it step by step and you will be able to see how it's done. But I do recommend that you go back and watch our courses on HTML and on PHP as well.